Alright y'all, so we're finally at TMS. Let's go in here and see what they're doing. Yes, sir. If y'all see this truck on the street, please don't try them. This thing's gonna be a serious problem in the streets of Mobile. There goes my baby. <laughs> Alright y'all, so bah! She is on there. So how about the car didn't have the second fuel filter? We had the one in the back um, where the uh, fuel tank is down underneath the car, but we didn't have that second one that we're supposed to have underneath the hood or wherever people put it. We didn't have the second one, period. So got my new catch can, braided hoses. We also got the new AN fittings for the blower lid. Master cylinder is on there. And Joe and them, and Joe and them got me this super nice filter. And let me tell y'all something. Joe went out of his way to use this filter on my car, but he was gonna put it on his race car. Now, if that ain't love, I don't know what to tell you. Wow. It's not sure. Uh water pump to run the water up front right and of course i gotta mount all this still but i like that the mm. ice cubes yeah the lid's not nice. how heavy that thing is that's serious right there sheesh is that considered um forged or something that's billet on that billet okay so i gotta run those so you'll have some coming in from this side some coming in from this side i'll try to make it look cool um so how many feet is that to run into the is it running to the trunk yeah Two times. Ah, Two gigantic yeah. ass water lines running front to back. Ooh. You're going to have some capacity for water. You're probably I wasn't recording, but Joe said that he's got this right here. And I'll be able to drain the water when it's time to put ice in here. Um, straight down through the trunk. And then fill it up with ice. Now, Joe Into this one and this one. Mm -hmm. And it'll come out of these two. Run down here through the heat exchanger. Out mm -hmm. of the heat exchanger all the way back to the tank. The new rear end housing we put in is lighter. The new rear brakes are lighter than the old ones. New subframe for the transmission is lighter. We fix something. We crack something else along the way. The car's just getting better and better. You know what I mean? Like, Man, I'm stuck. Positive movement. What else did I want to tell y'all? I got the radium rails. You know what I mean? Like it's not running like I want it to. Yeah? It's doing an end line and running like it's supposed to. Fuel system's gonna work better. So you say you think we're going to be around 700? I'm curious to see what it makes for boost. That'll tell me what it's going to make more than anything. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm anticipating this car will make much better power than it did. No dude's mad at me because I've been talking about it a lot, but hey, people need to know. Man. These were my old harnesses on the car. We got new Holly ones now. And they look way better protected way better you know it's just all the small stuff these guys did on this car that's really going to make all the difference of course with all the new stuff and whatever else they did but i'm mainly talking about like the little details like this right here you know like you got a bunch more clearance now because that bar underneath there was bottoming out on my oil pan and that's no good so it wasn't really going to be a long vlog i just wanted to give you all an update but yeah we're going to start cooking when that rear end comes in right now we're pretty much just in limbo 
But this is one of my favorite parts along with the new supercharger. It's gonna be nice, gonna be nice. Although I'm gonna miss my music, but I'm gonna take it to Ultimate Audio Fabrications here in Mobile and, and get me something else. But for now, this is what we rocking with. You feel me?